recording. This is a story for my big fish babe friends. And it's the story of Renata's horrible Tuesday. Uh, I had to get up uh, early yesterday morning to pick up Christy. And, um, Lila, you're not supposed to interrupt me when I'm telling a story. Anyway, I, I was supposed to pick up Christy who had surgery and um, she was ready to be picked up at nine o'clock. Uh, so I drove down there to Seattle and it was stop and go traffic, stop and go traffic, and what do you know, I uh, missed the exit. And um, so I have to drive all the way through uh, Seattle and then I took the Mercer Street exit and um, that is a long tunnel, Fran, but it has lights in it. So I drove through the tunnel thinking, good thing Fran isn't here. And um, as I get out the tunnel to get back onto the freeway, I had to do an illegal UE, and you guys know how good I am at that. And um, I got back on the freeway and I finally went and got Christy. Meanwhile, the, um, the indicator on my uh, thermostat in the car is dangerously close to red. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I forgot to put coolant in there. I've been meaning to do that forever. So um, I get up there to get Christy. I can't find the place, can't find it. I'm driving around. Meanwhile, the needle gets into the red and I'm thinking, oh shit, what am I gonna do? So anyway, um, to make a long story short, I, I found the place after I called Christy, who was delirious after the surgery, but she did answer my question. And, um, now I forgot what I was telling you. So we got out of the hospital and I drove her home and um, while on her way home we had to stop somewhere and while we were waiting for some medication, I um, programmed my new cell phone to my Bluetooth and I hadn't gotten around to doing that. And so I fiddled around with that and then uh, I got that done and then I took Christy home. Well, on my way home, I thought, I'm going to try this new Bluetooth and call some friends and I won't have to worry about getting stopped. And so um, the, I pick up, I put the phone down and uh, or the, I pick the phone up and turn my little Bluetooth thing on and I say, call Shirley. And the thing says, call who? And I said, call Shirley. And the thing says, call early? And I said, no, call Shirley. And the thing says, call he? And I said, no, call Shirley. And the thing said, call home? And I said, fuck you, and I hung up. So I dialed the um, number by myself and I talked to Shirley. And after I did that, I called Camille, my friend Camille, and so I, turn the thing on and I say, um, call Camille. The thing says, call ill. I said, no, Camille. Call Cam? No, Camille. Call evil? No, Camilla. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember what it said, but I had to hang up again because the damn thing didn't understand me. So I called Camille. With the hand and then I called Jody and I said call Jody and it said um, call Yodi I said no Jody Yodi <laughs> I said no Jody Yodi <laughs> it says and I said oh okay call Yodi and what do you know I get Yodi's <laughs> Jody's machine because telling her this because I knew she would get a kick out of it. So anyway, um, I am really frustrated by now and um, I can't remember. Oh, and then I called Janet, my friend Janet of Austin Street, whom you met, and I said, call Janet, and it said, call work, and I said, no, call Janet. Call home? I said, no, call Janet. Call home? And I said yes, and so it called home. So I had to push Janet's numbers in there. And um, 
Janet just started laughing when I told her the story because it was so funny and she said it's happened to me and you can actually train that thing. So that's the Bluetooth story. There was a lot more to this day and I'm going to see how long this video is and if um, it's not very long I'm going to do this over again and um, tell the whole day. Bye! Watch out.